Hello, Dr. Camp here, the Hammond Doc. I'm working on a vintage Leslie crossover. Now, this particular crossover came out of a older model, uh, Leslie, uh, a Leslie 51C. And so, um, I've already uh, started working on it in terms of recapping it. And you can see the, the capacitors that I have already installed on it. So, I'm going to go ahead and complete this project. I have another crossover unit of uh, a later model that uh, that I'll do uh, next after this and so you can see me recap a crossover uh, from the from the beginning to the end okay and uh, in fact uh, I might make uh, a series of videos on that process but let's go ahead and finish this one let me show you what I've done so far okay um, what I have, I'm, I'll have to use my, my, my glass to look in here, is two uh, capacitors. I'm using Dayton capacitors, 5.6 microfarads and 2.2 microfarads. So let me let's pan up so you can see those. So right here, you, you have a 5.6 microfarad capacitor there and a 2.2 microfarad capacitor. Uh, that's for. Uh, the treble side, you got that's 7.8, and then you want 12.5 over here. And so I have again Dayton capacitors. I have a 6.2, a 6.2. Um, that's that's 12.4. That's 12.4, and then a point one, so that makes it 12.5 for the for the base side. And the way I uh, uh, or do these is the front part of the of the capacitors here. I put them together, uh, twist them together, and they are soldered in the space where this uh, unit goes right here. Okay, on, on that on that uh, pole there, in that socket, and then. And I'll have to take care of this black wire. The, the black wire and the red wire have to do those. That's what I'm getting ready to do. Uh, the bottom side or the other side of this, of the capacitors here, capacitor pair, uh, is twisted together and connected to this white uh, wire. The white wire goes all the way around over here to the treble side and is then soldered into this socket. Um, and connect it to this uh, side of the of, of these uh, base capacitors. The other side of these of these base capacitors are they're they're wound together and connected to this black wire, which goes to this other side of the socket here. All right, and that's what uh, is these two. Uh, that makes up for that the cord that inputs here um, in order to operate your your speakers okay and you have your upper your bass speaker here and your um, upper driver here and then this unit this cord, which is what I'm getting ready to connect, goes into the amplifier. Okay. Now, so this, let's pan up. I'm gonna need my soldering iron, my hat co. So now I have to connect this black wire to right where, where my finger is. This is where I'm going to be working. And as I can see here, see that's in the way. So I'm right, right down here now. Turn the camera so you can see it. 
Just a little. All right. A lot of this uh, electronic work requires a good bit of dextral man. Manual, I said dextral manual dexterity. Manual dexterity. <laughs> All right, so put that around here. Dextral mentality. Hmm. Manual dexterity. Okay. Soldering iron and let's get to work. All right. That is attached, so I got my treble, that's done. Now, I'm going to do my base side. And that has to connect uh, to the same place where the white wire is. So somewhere along that. Right there. Prime and solder. I'm looking at my mirror so I can see what I'm doing. Okay, very good, done, that's soldered there, now Now this this uh, there's a crossover will work. This unit is ready to be installed. But what I will do is um, is I will keep this crossover unit as a model. I won't uh, I will not uh, get rid of this particular crossover. I'll hold on to this and I'll use it 
as a model unit to build uh, or rebuild other crossovers. It's, it's good, always good to have a model in the shop. I mean, there are uh, some guys that, that do this all the time, they do it every day, this kind of work, and so, I mean, they won't forget, they don't, they remember which end goes where, and, um, or you can, you can draw a diagram of it, but, um, what I do is I'll just, uh, like, I'll keep a model of one of these so that I can just recap uh, as many as I want to recap. Um, I'll keep a model, I'll recap a 122 and, and keep it as a model, 147, keep it as a model, just so that, uh, to, just to cut down on errors, because anybody can make errors, anybody can make mistakes, and uh, leave a wire undone or uh, put something in the wrong place, and, and then of course your system won't work as it should uh, when that happens, so it's always good to have a, a prototype uh, to, to go by, and of course you can read the schematics. Uh, um, but it's real nice to have a prototype uh, when you're trying to do this kind of work and that you can just use as a model and follow along and it just makes things much easier in the shop when you're doing uh, this type of, of work. So let's go on to the next task uh, which is rebuilding a, a Leslie crossover, um, recapping it and uh, so that'll be uh, the next series of videos. Until then this is Doc Kemp the Hammond Doc, bidding you a blessed and wonderful afternoon. Goodbye.